What up, family? Got the replica compared to the authentic. Start with the insole. As you can see, the, the insole on the replica on the left comes apart, but on the authentic, it's all one piece. Check out the back. The replica doesn't have this foam pad right here. Back on the heel. The shades is a little bit lighter on the um, authentic. As for the actual uh, insole right here, the colors are very, very close, but as you can see, the patterns is off. Same goes for the um, other one. The pattern is pretty, is a little bit off, and the shade is a, is a little bit different. As you can see, these um, authentics do come with these little sticks, similar to the uh, the fours, Jordan fours that have been releasing with these little sticks inside. They do come with two extra pair of laces, man. Two of them. You got the ones inside, then you got these ones. The reps did not come with the extra laces. The box, like always, the rep is smaller. The logo isn't bad, but it's a different shade. Uh, the box is shorter. Here's the rep label. You guys always point out the differences on their labels. Right now, because I don't um I don't see any, but you guys seem to always find it. So let me know if you see any differences. This is the um, authentic. Has the retail price 140. Retail price is only 140, but these things sold out so quick on Nike.com and it made the site crash. And they're going for about 500 to 550 right now. Authentic has this paper. The rep just has the regular white tissue paper. Man, this shoe right here. At least this one is very, very close. Well, the tongue is different. You can see the logos on the tongue and the colors is just... Down here, it's a little more. The green is closer. But up top, that whole logo is just, just off. But as far as the, the toe boxes aren't that bad. The colors on the... um, I meant the color on the upper. And the color on the toe box. The pattern seems to be a little smaller on here. Seems like they should have blew it out a little, uh, just a little bit bigger. As you can see right here. See how this one is just much smaller than this one. Seems to have the pattern down a little bit though. The, shade, the shading on the upper is very, very close. The authentic is just a little more brighter. Just a shade brighter. Like these colors on the upper pop more. The swoosh pops a little more. But you just, you're not going to notice that unless you got them side by side. On feet, man, look at that. On feet, side by side, these things is very close. That signature in the back is the same color. The speckles on the midsole is the same color. The midsole is the same color. And it changes shades right at the same spot. The outsole is the same color. Man, this thing is closer than I thought it was. They actually have the texture on the swoosh on the rep. Just like on the authentic. Let's flip it around. The laces are on point. Again, they might the laces pop a little bit more on the um, authentic. As you can see, they have the pattern right there. This may be a little bit off center. This should come. This part maybe should come farther down a little bit if you want to get real technical. But on feet, man, they're going to look very, very similar. These colors are exactly the same. All these colors right here you see in the back. This gray may be a little bit darker on the rep. That swoosh is the same color. That upper, I think this is some type of leather, is the same color. Carbon fiber. For some reason on the Colby's, they put this cheap looking carbon fiber similar to the Jordan uh, the 11's and GS 
If you ever seen a pair of GS 11s, Jordan 11s, they put this fake type slippery carbon fiber on here, and that's what they did on the Kobe's. I think they need to change that to some better carbon fiber. But since they do have that type of carbon fiber, it's easy replicated, as you can see, it's damn near identical. Of course, the sole is identical. Look at that. As you can see, that yellow right there in the logo needs to be a little more bolder. These are very, very close. But like I said, the easy difference, if you want to tell it too, is the tone. You can just see the logos right there. It's two different colors. Also, this is softer, and this is way more stiffer on the authentic. They do both say Kobe right there. Let's go to the blue one. And it's the same thing. The laces pop a little bit more. I don't know if you're going to catch it on camera. Again, the pattern seems like it needs to come farther down on the wrap. Just like the other shoe, the colors on the authentic just pop a little bit more. But on feet, I mean, these Kobe, the wrap is going to look damn near close to authentic. Uh, the blue, the blue shoe is a little bit farther off, I think, than the other one. As you can see, the upper, the patterns go from dark. You got some very dark colors here. The replica seems to stay on the lighter side for the most part. But that signature, again, this whole piece back here is a, is damn near identical. Midsole is identical. The outsole is identical. This is very, very close. The uh, authentic is a little more icier, a little more uh, lighter blue icy. This is kind of like, it's like a chalky light blue. This has that like icy, iciness to it. Again, the carbon fiber is identical. Got the inner side, very, very close. Check out that Nike in the back. Man, yeah, this shoe is very, very close. Closer than I really, really thought it was going to be. Which is crazy. So, yeah, man, this is the Kobe 8 with the Kobe. Very, very nice replica compared to the authentic. Usually, Kobe replicas are pretty much on point. I, I guess these shoes aren't. Don't take much money to make because um, retail is only 140. Usually, Kobe and KDs are the retail is pretty low. It seems like these replica factories have an easier time replicating them than a Jordan or a LeBron. Yeah, man. I want to say the uh, the rep is a little more a little more bulkier. Um, from this part, going back to this part, just a little more bulkier. The Kobe is it's just a little more narrow and slimmer. I don't know if you're going to be able to notice that. But basically, this toe box right here is a little more higher than the Authentics. They sit a little more lower. There it is, man. Replica Authentic with the Kobe. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.